This fire-old, male red air slider has a trouble retracting its neck into its shell for the past 6 months. It has also been gasping for breath for the past 2 weeks. The owners were concerned, so they brought it here to the buyer vets for help. Will the vet be able to save it? This is a Be Kind to Pets veterinary educational video sponsored by Tobayo Vets. Today is 19 September 2018. It's a, it's a Wednesday. What happened is this great 5 year old red ear slider male came in with a complaint of not eating and uh, having difficulty in breathing, always gasping for breath for about one to two weeks ago. Okay, let go first. Get off first. Now, as you can see, he does have this open mouth breathing and uh, and he has stopped eating. Now, it's a, the red ear cider has been sick for six, six months. Now, the main complaint was he couldn't retract his neck, which he could do it normally. So the neck doesn't go in, go inside the, the shell, you push in. Normally you can go in, yeah. according to the owner. Yeah, you can go further in. Yeah, it's not been able to go in at all. And uh, there was another red ear slider, the sibling tends to mount on him. So I suspect he might have a nerve injury to the neck and therefore he couldn't uh, retract his neck. Now we turn it upside down. And let's see below, the neck below. Just put the same way again, put back the same way. Uh, same way again. See, see any injuries? Of course, it'll be quite long. Long ago, you wouldn't be able to see any injury. Let's see whether he can retract his neck. Well, press and see. See whether the, the neck can go in. Push it in. No. Nope. Okay. Turn, 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 turn back the same way. It looks like he has a paralyzed neck actually, and uh, it's probably due to daily mounting by the other one, and uh, it might have injured the neck area. Probably injured here, this part, and uh, so he, so once there's an injury a traumatic injury so he cannot put his the nerves are paralyzed so he cannot put his neck in so it's always important to ask the history eh, of the case because although this is a, a gasping case it, it looks like a res upper respiratory tract infection case due to the mouth gasping of the mouth open mouth breathing and then uh, the swollen eye doesn't only happen in the last two weeks according to the owner so actually he, he has been sick for six six months and you can see that uh, yeah he had been eating well actually he's not that skinny he's not that skinny turn the back back no just turn turn the paper will do yeah. you turn the paper you can see his backside we'll go further back with see whether he got some flesh or not Press to see in the in between the no. Don't block my camera. In between the, the lift up a bit, lift up one hand. You, you can see whether it's thin or not by by checking the inside here. There. Turn turn. Now you can check here. Here, if it's very thin, then there won't be much. Uh, flesh here, much fat here. So overall he's not very thin. So he's been eating he's eating about 15 pellets a day. But I stopped eating for some time due to the neck paralysis. Put back properly again. Yeah. Put back like just now properly yeah. okay. So is there a cure or not? That's the question. It's very hard to say but uh, I doubt there's a cure. And uh, The treatment will be supportive treatment, syringe feeding, antibiotics, and uh, 
if possible we can massage the neck but it's too long it's been too long normally they will bite you if you touch them uh, there seems to be some swelling here probably they might have injured the blood vessel when when uh, the other sibling mounted on him every day something sharp from the from the shell of the other sibling could have damaged the vertebra so with, with, with neck paralysis he, he developed upper respiratory tract infection and uh, now he's really in a bad shape now we see whether he can move or not pull his, pull his leg out and see both legs pull some more extend the leg extend some more you see it doesn't really attempt to bite anybody okay let's see the turn upside down again see the shells now you can see it's not not very thin not very thin although it lost eight grams now it's day three he cannot turn upright by himself okay but go back again facing me again so this is the situation now day three of treatment so we give orally antibiotics anti painkillers and uh, vitamins and critical care feeding to see whether you can reverse the paralysis or not which is here actually the neck is paralyzed you can even feel the bones uh, the vertebra bones here so this is one of the few cases of paralysis of the red yes slider probably due to mounting now you look at the other one there's another one coming in it's a hatchling you can take it out here paper okay you can see the hatchling put it down and uh, the complaint is take away first yeah. the complaint is that He's not eating, but I can see he's still active, huh? Come, he's still active. Put it in the center there. So the one thing good, he's still active. This albino one, okay. And turn to the side. You can see the side view, uh, the back. So this is a very expensive uh, caramel or albino. Put it, put down in red ear slider. This is not red ear, this is yeah, it's a red ear but it's a it's a colour is different. Okay, put it back in the so this one we need to sun it. Sun it and uh, and we will fit antibiotics. So this one as compared to the other one, it's a very young one. It will probably be less than two months old. It's a red ear slider, it will bring down the water level a bit. Yeah. Yeah, take off first, pour, pour the water, not too much water, bring, bring it down by half, just pour the water. Yeah. So you can see two red ear sliders with different problems, yeah, put it here. Yeah. So the best is not to be over, just, just with the head, very little water so that the head is uh, above. So it's not fully submerged. Yeah. Not fully submerged. Let's see. Yeah, yeah you, can, you can breathe. Uh. But sometimes they can't climb up. Uh. So you don't expect them to climb up here. When, when they are well, they can climb up. But they, they are not well. A bit, a bit more. Less water. They might in turn helping me. And uh, just a bit. Uh, just enough for the for the slider to breathe so that it doesn't submerge entirely then we put the pellets in and cover up as well where's the cover yeah, okay it gives some sunlight for one hour he, he will eat by himself or not put under the sun for an hour then we bring in 
clipped all the the medication that is needed then let him swallow let him drink water for a while and then take him out from the water yeah so after four hours you can put again see whether he will drink or eat then take out then at night also okay right now he needs the warm and no need to put uh, on the water for 24 hours okay uh, this one is the critical care. Just now, uh, I prepare for him. Okay. So, like this uh, paste in pharma. So, we mix one teaspoon of the critical care with four teaspoons of water, and then we also add the nutri pack inside already. Yes. Yeah. So, you open the cap, and then you put the food inside. So the food is in the swing already, but this one is too big for him to swallow. So you need to transfer into the small swing jacket. So open. Push. Okay. So now uh, ready for feeding. Yeah. So mostly we put the tenatin inside the water first. And then uh, we hold like this. Then uh, mostly we tickle the side. If cannot, you can open slowly the mark. Yes. Yeah. So at the time you push the foot inside. No, push the the, yeah. At a uh, few only. Yeah. Okay. After that, you need to put him in the water again to swallow the food. Okay. But, yes, correct. And then the water uh, doesn't need to be higher than oh. her him. Yes. Yeah. So just enough for him to drink. No need to be uh, higher than the last. Yes, girl. Because right now he's having difficulty. information, forward your queries to the following numbers or email or visit the website at thebiovets.com. Thank you.